My name is Bill Quick. I'm the Vice Consul, and they asked me to make a couple of remarks since Robert Zimmerman, who is our Head of Public Affairs or Public Diplomacy, is sick. We don't think he's got the swine flu, right? <laughs> we hope not. Hope they not. <laughs> we hope not. That yeah. certainly seems to be building up. And um, I've been here about a year, and it's great to see groups of people like you come down here to work uh, in Uruguay. It's, uh, as I say, it's a great country. It's a very, very good friend of the United States. Uh, I think that a lot of what we do here, is, the embassy here, I think, has a lot of very exciting programs going on, and certainly many of those are in public affairs. But it's just great to see as I see more people like you come down here, not just to work, but also to get to know Uruguay, get to know the Uruguayans. And I hope then go back to the U.S. and tell other people how wonderful Uruguay is. The consular section, our main responsibility is our first American citizens overseas. So if somebody gets in trouble, like one of you, if you lost your passport or something, or got mugged, you might give us a call and we try and help out as best we could. Um, and then our second main responsibility is adjudicating visas, making decisions about visas, both immigrant visas and non-immigrant visas, whether or not we're going to let people apply for entry to the United States. And that's probably about 80% of our work. We operate with the philosophy that was set up by uh, former Secretary of, Secretary of State Colin Powell, which is secure borders, open doors. Our first responsibility is to make sure that no bad guys get visas. And we, we spend a fair amount of time worrying about that. But we also want to make sure that everybody who wants to visit the United States and should be able to visit the United States can, in fact, visit the United States because we think that's the best way for people all around the world to find out what a wonderful country that we have. So we like to issue visas. We don't like to tell people no, although sometimes we have to. We like to issue visas so that people can, in fact, go to the U.S. and visit. Most of the time they seem to go to Disneyland these days. <laughs> but uh, you know, go to Disneyland or go to, to you know, New York or go to Chicago or go to Los Angeles or go to the Grand Canyon and see some of the fantastic things that uh, exist in the U.S. and I hope also you know, meet some of the wonderful Americans that make up America. And then come back to Uruguay or Brazil or, or India or wherever and say, it's not a bad place to be, it's a pretty nice place to be. Y bueno, y después está nuestro departamento, que es el, el departamento cultural, en el que somos un equipo de cuatro personas. Este, dos de este, ellas, bueno, somos Verónica y yo, Lucía que los acompañó y otra tercera compañera. Y nosotros en realidad trabajamos este, en, en el área de cultura y educación. Se necesitaba de bueno, gente que más o menos fuera conduciendo y que fuera este, encauzando todos esos esfuerzos. Fue bastante... Este, complicado en un principio, sigue teniendo sus complicaciones, pero creo que lo importante, lo más importante es darse cuenta que cuando hay proyectos así tan revolucionarios como este, que es un proyecto revolucionario en la educación, es sentirnos parte del proyecto.